Welcome to the 22nd MATLAB Arduino tutorial. This video will cover XB-based wireless communication between a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino. Here is a demo of what we are going to accomplish in this video. We are going to control an LED and read temperature sensor data from a sensor connected to the Arduino wirelessly from a Raspberry Pi using XBs. In this video, we will go over the hardware, the technologies running on the Raspberry Pi, including the following. How to find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, installing PIP, a package manager for Python, and installing the serial communication library. Writing the Python and the Arduino code. And a demo. The Raspberry Pi is a popular ARM-based Linux computer. It is inexpensive and relatively powerful for the price. We will be using the Raspbian Linux distro available on Raspberry Pi's website. We will also be using two XB Series 1 wireless radios for communication between the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. To connect the XB to the Raspberry Pi, we will use the XB Explorer USB board. The board will be connected to the Raspberry Pi using USB. And to connect the XB to the Arduino, we will use the XB Serial Shield. We need to make sure that the switch is set to the UART pins for serial communication to work. We will also be using the Texas Instruments TMP-102, which is a low-power, two-wire serial output digital temperature sensor that operates over a wide thermal range. As shown by the graph, the TMP-102 is specified for operation over a temperature range of negative 40 to 125 degrees Celsius. The sensor is accurate to within half a degree up to 85 degrees Celsius with a resolution of 0.0625 degrees Celsius. The TMP-102 will be connected to the Arduino with this pinout and the LED will be connected with the long end of the LED connected to the resistor connected to pin 3 and the other end connected to ground. We will be using Raspbian, a Debian-based Linux distro for the Raspberry Pi. SSH, a program for securely logging into a remote computer from another computer. Python, a general-purpose high-level programming language. And Nano, a terminal-based text editor for writing the Python script. Since we are going to be programming the Raspberry Pi remotely from another computer, we need to find its IP address. To do this, you have to make sure that the Raspberry Pi and the computer you are using are connected to the same network. Then, connect a monitor, keyboard, and mouse to the Raspberry Pi. Open up LX Terminal on the desktop. Type IFCONFIG and press Enter. If you are connected to a wired network, the IP address will be here, to the right of ETH0. If you are connected to a wireless network, the IP address will be to the right of WLAN0. Now let's go back to your computer. If you use a Mac or Linux, open up Terminal. If you are on Windows, we recommend using PuTTY to SSH. Type in SSH PI at sign the IP address that you got from the Raspberry Pi. Here, Pi is the username of the user you are logging into. Enter the password. By default on Raspbian, the password is Raspberry. The first time you SSH into the Raspberry Pi, you will get this message asking if you want to trust the device you are connecting to. Type yes and press enter. Now we need to install PIP, the Python package manager. Type wget followed by this URL. wget is a command that will download the contents of the URL from the web. Now type sudo python get-pip.py. Sudo is a command that allows the program to access restricted parts of the operating system needed to install. When that is done, type sudo pip install pyserial, which will install the Python serial library. Open a new file by typing nano app.py. This is nano, a simple, easy to understand terminal based text editor. 
Import the serial library we installed earlier and the time library that comes with Python. Define a function using def called setupSerial. Inside, create a new serial object with the address of the XB board. While ser.read is not A, do nothing. After A has been received from the Arduino, the code will continue to flush the input and write A back to the Arduino, completing the handshake. Define another function, get temp. Inside, write a capital T to the Arduino and then read the line response from the Arduino. Run R strip on the response to remove unnecessary characters from the end of the response. Define a function switch on that takes in a Boolean input on. If on is true, then write 1 to the Arduino. Otherwise, write 0. Next, run the setup serial function. Run get temp and print the output. Turn the LED on, wait 2 seconds, and then turn the LED off. Then close the serial connection. Let's look at how to interface this with the Arduino. Add the library for I2C communication. Set the pin mode for the LED. Start the serial connection to the XB, and do the character handshake with Python. In the loop, if there are characters available to be read from the XB, read them and switch. If Python sent T, get the temperature and print it over the XB. Get the temperature using get temp sent, a function we will define later. If Python sent 1, turn on the LED. If Python sent a 0, turn off the LED. Define the function get temp sent. First, request two bytes from the sensor, a note on the 7 bit address. Four TMP-102 devices may share one I2C bus and read operations are addressed 72 to 75, based on the ADD0 pin configuration. Since we have grounded it to logic 0, we use decimal 72, which is found by converting the hex number to binary, then bit shifting right once. Read two bytes from the temperature register. As the TMP-102 stores conversions as 12-bit value, Position temperatures are denoted by the most significant bit equal to zero. Bit shift the first byte four bits to the left to form the MSB. Bit shift the second byte four bits to the right to form the LSB. Then logic or the two to combine. Multiply by the resolution of the sensor to get the temperature in degrees Celsius. In the case of negative temperatures denoted by the MSB equal to one, Complement the absolute value binary number and add 1. To run this, on the Raspberry Pi, type python app.py and then reset the Arduino so it does the character handshake. Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.